everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back and today I'll be talking about self-love maintenance and recharging. So this will apply to those of us who are on our self-love journeys and we're learning what self-love is to us and how we can adequately love ourselves. With any journey, you know, there's obstacles, there's ups and downs, so this video will really apply to the times where we're having our downs and we're trying to get back up. So my first tip is to sign out and log off. This day and age, especially if you're like me and your career is largely in part devoted to social media, it can, can be really difficult. So whether or not social media helps you with your livelihood, maybe you just use it for entertainment and just to keep up with your loved ones, you have to get off because the way social media is built, you're naturally inclined to draw comparisons. You're comparing your life to other people's lives and it's not really a fair comparison because you're only seeing what people are showing you. You're not really seeing the downs, usually. It can make you feel like there's something wrong with you when there's really not. Um, it's all in your head. It's all on Instagram. Maybe go a week without signing in. I know a lot of the times we just use it just to waste time. Maybe we're waiting online at Walgreens or we're bored at work. We just want to scroll. Sometimes you just have to disconnect and unplug. My second tip is to clean your space and declutter. There's no way you can have a clear mind in a cluttered space. I like to do spring cleanings as well as summer cleanings and winter cleanings and fall cleaning where I just get rid of all the junk that I don't need. And to be truthful, I, I feel like I do that more often than just once a season. I do it when I need to, when I need some clarity. Consider rearranging your room or rearranging somewhere in your home that you spend a lot of time in. Going through your wardrobe and getting rid of the clothes that you don't wear that you can't fit in, that doesn't inspire you, doesn't make you feel good anymore. Get rid of items that bring up bad memories. You may find that very helpful. Tip number three is to change your environment. You can do that in the simplest ways. I mean, I'm not telling you to move and relocate. I just mean the simplest things, like maybe you always walk down Church Avenue. How about you change up the scenery a little bit and walk down Linden Boulevard. You're so accustomed to seeing the same things every day, so you may feel understimulated in that regard, but if you change up your route a little bit, that may spark something in you that you may not have expected. Tip number four, journaling. I'm a writer, so this comes naturally to me. I have tons of journals that I use for different things. You may not need a bunch of journals for different subjects, but you may just need one. Write how you're feeling in the moment, Write what made you feel that way. Write about what you want to do tomorrow when you get up. Write about how your day went. Write about what went well, what didn't go well, and what you could have done differently. Things like that. Expressing yourself on paper is always a really good tool. I know a lot of us want to write it on our phone, but I really recommend getting a pen or a pencil and writing it down on some paper. My next tip is to take sea salt soaks in your bathtub. I personally recommend pink Himalayan sea salt. Pink Himalayan sea salt is really good for helping to strip away your stresses and your anxieties and it helps to get rid of a lot of negative spiritual energy that you may have trapped in. And who doesn't like a good soak in the tub? Nice warm to hot water helps to relax your muscles. When your body's relaxed your mind is black. Which leads me to the next tip. Go to the gym and exercise. Maybe you don't want to go to the gym. Exercise at home. Exercise outside. It's summertime. Take advantage of the weather. But get your body feeling right because naturally when your body is feeling right, your mind will feel right as well. If you're feeling sluggish and you have low energy, it's not really gonna do you any good as far as your mental health. And also, you wanna eat well. Eat some live fruits and vegetables, so incorporate more salads. Maybe, maybe you don't like them raw, steam them. But who doesn't like some fresh fruit? My next tip is to talk to a friend 
or a family member, someone that you have close to you. A lot of us are usually the friend that other people call and unload on, but that can that can actually be really draining and that can really have a toll on you, especially when you're holding everything in that you're going through. So try to, you know, be a little vulnerable, stop being so stoic and talk to a friend of yours, a family member, sister, mother, whoever you have, bestie, your um, significant other, speak to someone and get their perspective. Even if you don't want their perspective, maybe you just want to express what it is that you have on your mind and on your, your heart and your, your soul. You want to just let that out. That can really help you get some relief. My next tip is to do something that's like a pick-me-up. For me personally, when I'm feeling really uninspired or I'm feeling bad about wherever I am, maybe I'm feeling stagnant, I like to get dolled up, meaning I like to get my hair done, I like to, well I like to do my own hair, but I like to do my hair or and I like to do my makeup and get a mani and petty. That's what I like. I also like to, well I do this regardless if I'm feeling good or bad because that's just what I like. I like to, when I get out the shower, when I get out the tub, I like to have like a good 15 minutes in my room where I'm unbothered, where I can oil my skin and just stay naked and let my skin just absorb the oils. Let my skin be exposed to some oxygen because, you know, our skin is usually covered. We're wearing clothes all the time. We don't really get oxygen and air all over. And that experience is really refreshing and freeing. And it also helps you become comfortable, more comfortable in your skin if you're not already. That sort of self-care is it's very intimate and it's very helps you get in touch with yourself. And my last tip is to meditate. Now, meditating is different for different people. But I'll just say in the simplest form, breathe and focus on your breathing. Breathe deeply, breathe into the bottom of your lungs. Make sure you're filling up your lungs so that they expand downward, upward and outward. Get in as much air as you can and exhale and keep it up and keep doing it. And something about that, it gives you like a natural high. That's one way you can, that I like to meditate, but I also just like to, you know, maybe before I go to bed, quiet my mind, maybe I cut off all the music or may have some sort of um, smooth tunes in the background but I actually I prefer it to be silent and I'm just in my thoughts and I'm you know thinking solution oriented thoughts or I'm just trying to not think at all and I'm just worried I'm just concerned about having my body feel completely relaxed and completely at so that's another way I can make a whole separate video on meditating I let me know if you want me to do that and I'll have that for you eventually and and that's pretty much it guys that's my self-love maintenance recharging routine we all need to recharge sometime thanks for watching love light and locks